Hello, my creative friend, Olga Sabi here, and welcome to new Fluid Art tutorial. Today, I am totally in the mood for colors of the season, and as this most colorful time of the year unrolls, I want to create a painting with a lot of copper and gold and orange and some reds. So this is going to be a flow on this pretty big canvas, 18 by 24. And as you might have guessed, I'm going to work on the color split base. So I'm going to have red, violet, and Prussian blue magenta. This one is going to look pretty much like black when it's dry. So this is going to be perfect, very contrasting, very vibrant color combination. And I also want to use this rain to give my flow a twist literally. So let's see how this one turns out and let's get started. Beauty of letting go is a secret message today, a pretty long one, and I think it's a beautiful double meaning message. It's perfect for the season and it's a good reminder yourself as well. So let's create that base. First of all, I want to create a Prussian blue. So Prussian blue is going to be on the bottom. It's to be more like this. I have already painted my sides because both Prussian blue and uh, permanent magenta that I'm going to be using for my color split are very transparent and I'm working on canvas. So I want to have my sides painted. And if I just let paint mix with water go down the side, the sides will not be perfectly covered. It's not going to look very pretty. So when working with transparent colors, especially with a paint and water mixture, I recommend you to paint the sides first if you're also working on canvas. I'm sort of using my areas where I painted with Prussian blue as a guide lines. So I have planned out my composition ahead of time. And all the top part is going to be this beautiful juicy magenta. Not even going to clean my palette knife after magenta because I kind of want some of it to get into my Prussian blue. I think it will just give nice little touch to this base color. It's not going to be visible, but it will bring more interest in those areas where they overmix. Base is done, now next step. I'm gonna place my ring somewhere right here. And in this area, I wanna first overmix these two colors with a small addition of copper. Okay, and now we can actually start adding in all the colors. So I wanna go, I wanna have one flow going towards this way and one going towards this way. This one here is rose magenta, so a little warmer magenta. So next let's add in that copper. I want to have like a lot of copper in this flow. Adding super generously. I don't need to add, even if I'm planning the flow, I don't need to add all the way to here because I'm gonna blow towards that side, same with here. I don't need to add right here because I will still blow it off the canvas. So just plan out accordingly, depending on where you want to blow out. So this is iridescent orange. My gosh, this one is gonna be metallic -y. This color was meant to be for like fall inspired paintings. It totally has this pumpkin energy in it and I love it. it. It dries really nicely, looks beautiful. All right, some gold. Now first I'm gonna add some of this. This is um, naphtal. Honestly, I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Red. See, it's a very warm red compared to my magentas. It's really, really bright. And I want to have some gold. Thank you. 
You know, I, I just realized that I want to have this this flow to go in this direction. So now I actually need to add more. Oh, 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 oh my God, that was close. So I need to add a bit more of the copper and the rest of the colors in here. Give it a little twist. Oh, I have another color prepared. So this one is cadmium red. Yeah, a couple. This one is more like orangey red. So all the colors you can think of, all the colors that you have. I, apparently I can't talk and add colors because <laughs> I spill it and I do all kinds of things. Okay, this was not meant to be in there. And finally, you need to add some white to help with cells and lacing to create some highlights, especially with such a dark color base. We need that white. And the reason why I'm using Prussian blue and not black is because it will dry like black, but where it overmixes with white, it will give this beautiful, very cool, dark grayish blue instead of just gray, like with black. My gosh, this is a lot of paint and I'm very excited to see how that will look. Let's blow this out. Actually, first, hold on, we need to torch. I got a bunch of air bubbles. All right, damn, that's a lot of copper. This is the most copper paint you have ever done. Let's blow this out. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I love this. A lot of beautiful lacing and details, but it does need more work. A lot more work. Oh, I love this part right here so much. Okay. See, this is what I'm talking about. You have this delicate grayish bloom and it actually makes your warm colors pop even more because it gives that cool warm contrast. Trying to be very careful with my finger swipe because I don't want to take away from all this beautiful lacing. So I sort of try to work a little bit through it, but mostly around it. Ooh. Trying to bring it everything to this rain inside. So now we need to have something pointy like a toothpick or a palette knife with a pointy and then we're gonna twist 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 even more lift and pop the film oh this is beautiful i love it you know now that i look at it from different angles i think it would be nice to have more white here this way it will be the brightest part of the painting and sort of all the light areas connect here but I will not be able to add it right now I need to let it dry and then I can add couple lines and strokes of white color but other than that damn this is so cool okay let's see how it dries and then I'll decide whether I want to touch it up or just leave it as it is the painting is dry I really love the design but I want to do a couple touch-ups especially in this part I do feel now that I want this section, especially inside, to be just a little more transparent. So I want to cover some of the sections with this color. And I also want to add more white highlights around my ring. I think it will get more attention towards this section. So prepare a couple colors. I think I might use some copper as well, just to help me blend it in with the rest of the painting. So let's work on this magenta part first, actually. I think I'm just gonna pour it out and spread it around. This is a very transparent color, so some of the design will still shine from underneath. Just gonna be less noticeable.
Here it is dry and finished with a layer of glossy varnish and you see how perfectly my center dried. A little bit of that color from underneath is shining through but it's honestly so much better this way and it definitely makes a super bright focal point and like nothing ever happened and I added those lines and you know the soft lines with sort of droplet shaped, they give this painting elegance and you know even this dreamy look but at the same time because they're so contrasty and it's white it's the brightest spot it's the most contrasting spot it makes such a perfect focal point so i'm happy i did this little touch-ups in this area there are so many gorgeous details and i especially love how colors blend into my magenta sides it is stunning and please let me know how do you like this painting with such a warm cozy color palette would you like to see more paintings in this theme? I would love to hear from you. Don't forget to check the description under this video for some super useful links and information. Thank you for joining and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.